How's it going, everybody? Oh, here, playing a horror game called The Mountwood Creature. Well, all right, I guess we're going to explore the woods and find a creature, a beast. The protagonist, Joseph, is unemployed and searching for a job. In a desperate situation with bills to pay, he's willing to accept any kind of work. Joseph finds a newspaper with a job offer in the Mountwood Forest. Without hesitation, he makes the call to apply for the job. He calls and gets the job. Uh-oh. So this is going to be the job of nightmares, not of dreams. Poor guy. Oh, did we get a sweet cinematic intro? Oxus Game Studio. I like those tree graphics. They're actually really nice looking. What? I can't... What does that even say? Gabriel NDJLDC Studio? Alright, true. The Mountwood Creature. I like this music to start. It's very 80s. This actually feels like an 80s movie. I like that. You need more synths in these horrors. Come on. Alright, we got some cinematics going on. I'm driving in. Heading to my new job in the forest. I'm actually impressed that the wheels are spinning on this car. <laughs> hey, good job. I always love when games start with cinematics. It's very impressive when it's a small team doing it. Just the little things, you know? Just the little things. Whoa. Alright, we got objectives. Go to the Mountwood staff room. What the hell? What is with this place? I really like these graphics, though. It's, a, it's like a little bit better than PlayStation 1. We got PS2. <laughs> we, we got an upgrade. All right, what? what is this weird building here? Let me in, I guess? Strange. Be Very strange. My equipment. What kind of job is this? Oh, wait a minute. Am I like a forest ranger? Oh, no. Do I gotta go live out in the woods? I never asked for Why this. is there a power box here? Huh. Find the watchtower. That's my job? Alright. Sure. I very much like this background music so far. Very silent hill. Hey, watchtower? What are you talking about? Yeah, I can sprint at least. We got invisible walls, so am I supposed to find a path to follow? Across the road? Nope. I gotta head this way, I guess. What? Where do I go? Do I have to take my car? No. Find the watchtower. How do you expect me to find a watchtower when I can't even go anywhere? What? There's invisible walls everywhere. Okay, here we go. I'm retarded. You gotta take the only path that you can find. I don't have a flashlight, do I? Son of a bitch. A little bit dark out here, but that's okay. I've been trained to be the best forest ranger there is. I'll find my watchtower. Man, this kind of job would actually be very creepy. Sitting out in the middle of the night in a watchtower by yourself in a forest It'd be a pretty rough job. Which way do I go? Uh oh. Um, I'm gonna assume I'm going south. No. All right. Gotta go this way into the dark forest. I feel like it's getting darker as I keep going. This sucks. I can't see. Where's my damn watchtower? Come on, man. Bring me to freedom. Hello? Oh, here we go. My home. <laughs> I finally reached finally. the watchtower. My house, dude. Time to go live and work, I guess. Alright, cool. Time to go find this creature out in the woods. Or maybe it's going to harass me. I don't know. Let's see. All right. There must be something that tells me what to do in this place. What? I don't even know what to do. Turn on the radio. 
Aye, aye, Captain. What do you got to say to me? Hey, are you a newbie? Yep, I am indeed. Ah, hey, newbie. I just wanted to see if you've arrived. I'm in charge of giving you instructions. Thank you very much. Uh, what's your name? My name is Ryan. What's your name? My name is Joseph. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Well, let's go. I've already prepared everything. I've created a file containing the instructions. I'll send it to you by email. What's your email address? Joseph Harper at MailCorp.com. MailCorp? The hell kind of... All right. Guess I'm working for some kind of organization. Right. I've already sent it to you. Anything. Just give me a call. See you, Joseph. Okay. Do you think watchtowers like this in real life actually have computers in them? I'm not allowed to go back outside now? You son of a bitch. Alright, give me. What am I what am I looking for here? Oh my god, it's a lot of instructions. Hello, Joseph. Welcome to the Mountwood Lookout. Below are the detailed instructions for your first day. Please read them carefully and follow them to ensure a smooth start. Alright. Camera system operation. Access cameras. What? The console display multiple camera angles around the forest. Switch cameras, forward forward footage. Power invisibility? Power outages. Due to recent reports of disturbances, likely caused by large creature passing through the area, there may be power outages. Emergency protocol. Containing other... The fucking font is so little I can barely read it. Wait, there's other lookout posts? Okay. General tips, stay alert. Monitor the cameras. Alright, that's all I do is monitor cameras? Sure. I guess. This doesn't sound too complicated. A few hours later. What the hell is this guy? Was What was he doing? Just sitting here all night? I don't know. Sure. Oh, no, I'm the Brady. Why aren't you monitoring your cameras, huh? Joseph, you there? Hey, Ryan, yeah. Could you check camera three? There's something strange there. It looks like another dead animal. Another one? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. An animal was found torn apart a few days ago. There's a possibility that there's a wild animal loose in the forest. Dude, the forest is full of wild animals. What a dumb way to say that. <laughs> Pretty sure every animal in a forest is wild. What the hell are you talking about? Try to call the rangers? Yes, but they didn't find anything. In fact, one of the rangers is missing after he was called to look for the animal. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. That's strange. Well, I'll look at camera three. Radio. Let me see. Okay. Dark. Nothing. Dark. Nothing. I, I guess I, I can't see very well what it is. I think I'll go check it out. It just looks like a blood trail. And yeah, you can barely see anything. What the fuck is this? Okay, if you're going to install cameras, dude, put fucking lights. Like, what is this? What the fuck is this? There's balls out there. I don't know. I use this. No. And why doesn't this guy have a flashlight? This is the most unprepared ranger I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, God damn, even I'd be more prepared than this guy. What a dink. How am I supposed to find camera three? Go investigate the dead animal. How? How do I know where that camera is? I have no idea. Um, I don't even know where the path is, for fuck's sake. One of these ways. Okay, here we go. Ah. Well, how do I know where the cameras are? Do I see them, like, in the trees? Do they have a little light attached to them? Something? I legitimately have no idea. I'm going to assume, instead of going back the way I came, I go up that path that was blocked off, right? Right here. Am I allowed to go up here now? Of course I am. Okay. Super quiet all of a sudden. I don't like this. Hello, anybody home? Where are these cameras? I really don't understand. What's the point of having cameras out in the forest with no lights? Like, what are you going to film? Huh? A pitch dark. Oh, here we go. Dead thing. What? That doesn't look like a dead animal. What the, the fuck? hell is that? I don't know. It looks like a giant brain. I better get back to the watchtower and call the rangers. 
Why? There's a house here. What's going on over here? Can I... Hello? What the... What? They just teleported me back here. Okay, I'll take it. That was a long journey. And yeah, what the f What was that? That didn't look like a dead animal. It just looked like a pile of meat. A big brain. Uh, rangers, I seem to have found a pile of meat somewhere. What? Back to the watchtower and call the rangers. Okay, why aren't you letting me call them? Oh, I have to use the radio, not the phone. This one calls the rangers. Sits down in his chair and ends up falling asleep. Are you sure about that? After seeing a big pile of gore, you fell asleep? What the fuck was that noise? Hello? raining now. I think there's something big out there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's out there? Joseph, help! Brian, what's happening? Hello? Brian? Brian, are you there? <laughs> fuck. What the fuck is going on? Uh-oh. Now the power went out? Oh, shit balls. No oh, shit ball. Can I can I use the phone still? No? Here it doesn't work? Oh fuck. I gotta go all the way back to turn the power back on. I don't like this. I'm still disappointed in this man. Where's your flashlight? You dink! It's the biggest dink in the world. Okay, I need to find that path again. Where is it? Where's my path back home? Way. Come on, there's only one path out of here, right? Right? Um. Or maybe not? Maybe there's no path out of here. Oh, never mind. Here it is. I can actually see a little bit better now that it's raining, at least. It's kind of foggy, but. I prefer the fog over the pitch darkness. I have to go all the way back to turn the power back on. Am I going to be chased by something? Or am I going to see something? Or maybe... Wait. Whoa! Oh, hell no! Tree fell over. No good. Something big out there, Sonny. I didn't see any trees fall, though. Hmm. Alright, well, whatever this thing is, I guess it's big as fuck. I was thinking, like, a Bigfoot or a Wendigo or something, but clearly this thing's huge. It fucking squished my car! Are we dealing with, like, a mountain troll? What the hell? Godzilla? Like, what's, what's going on here? You alright? There's some kind of big beast. Very cool. Um, I turn the power back on, please. Thank you. I'm still disappointed this man has does not have a flashlight. Come on, dude. That should be the first thing that you bring out into the forest. <laughs> All right, well, wouldn't you be, like, really scared right now? Your whole entire car is squished. All right, well... Fuck it, I guess we're gonna see a big beast at some point. See if I can get back to the tower without getting squished or eaten. Don't pick me up and eat me. I'm just trying to work my job. I just want to drive my motorcycle. Like, what? Oh. Oh, there's something big over there. What the flying fuck is that? Damn! What? It's huge! Dude, that's fucking cool as shit. Um, that's a big boy, though. That's a big boy. That's a big man. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. What is that? What kind of creature is that? It's, it didn't quite look like a giant. It kind of looked like, like one of those wraiths that's 25 feet tall. Um, I don't know, but... Fucking cool, dude. Very cool monster. Let's see if this thing is gonna fuck with me. Are you gonna eat me? Are you gonna try to kill me? Just leave me alone. I'm a good man. I'm just trying to live my life, you know? I'm trying to work my job. 
Um, if I turn the power back on, does that mean I can find the creature now? Hey, buddy, you okay? Bud! All the police. Oh, okay. Good point. Let's call the cops. Help! Something bad's happening. 911, what's your emergency? Please, send the police to Mountwood! There's something strange going on here. He's killing everyone. Keep calm, sir. The police will be there soon. Gotta hate that. No, they won't. Oh, oh, oh. He's here! Big white zombie man! The watchtower is not a safe place. I better find somewhere safe. Huh? That cabin. Cabin near the dead animal? Where did he go? The big man. I saw your head. I saw your face for like a split second. Alright, let's head back to that fucking random cabin. Where's my... Where's the road? I gotta find the road first. There we go. Alright. Try to get to that cabin without getting squished by whatever the hell this thing is. What is it? I don't get it. Did you guys invent a monster? Because if you did it, I think that's cool as shit. A big giant lumbering walking guy with it. It's right there, I see him. He's right in front of me. I can't believe what I'm seeing. What is it? What is that? I don't know. Dude, you tell me what that is. Oh, he's leaving. Is he leading me somewhere? Hey, bud. Um, will we be friends, maybe? Like, look at how big you are and how tiny I am. Can we just be friends, please? <laughs> you know, I'm, I am zero threat to you, dude. You're ten times the size of me. You know what this guy reminds me of? Siren Head. But he doesn't have a siren for a head. I, it's still fucking cool as shit, though. What is it? I want to see that face again. What is it? Big old zombie? Some kind of creature? Is it an Eldridge horror? All I know is this thing is fucking huge. He's big. He's a big boy. Um, okay, pile of meat. Go hide in this cabin. I guess. Let me in. I'm gonna hide out in here. I don't know how this is safer, though. That thing's so big. Couldn't you just kick the... Shit, I think he's close. Well, what do you want me to do? Stay safe in the cabin. Maybe there's something useful in here. Or not. Oh, fuck me. What are you talking about maybe there's something useful in here? Open! Did I just go back outside? Don't tell me you went back outside. Okay, let's say. Hello? Big man? Go to the police in the parking lot? Ow! There's a giant monster outside! I don't think this is a good idea, dude. This is a terrible idea. Nuh-uh. You're gonna get eaten. Didn't it say there'd be something useful in here? If this game has multiple endings, I'm gonna be disappointed that I missed something in here. But you know what? Let's try. I'm going for it. Let's try run away from this fucking thing. You know it's huge. Uh, where's the meat? Peace! Run! What parking lot? I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning? I'm gonna assume yes. Let's go. Let's hope this big guy doesn't catch up to me and eat my flipping head off. Let me go. I am not a threat to you, big man. I will call you Giant Zombo. Shit, it's behind me. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, shit, it's huge! Bruh. Bro, no! <laughs> How big! I don't like this. Not like this. Please, not like this. No! Big, big tree, man. Fuck off. Not like this. Come on, dude. Please. Come on, man. Why are you so slow all of a sudden? Fuck me. Well, I guess there was no escape for my poor man. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? He's been devoured.
Damn it, why did they take the sprint away right at the end? Fuck! I was so close to getting away! I did really like that monster though. Very fucking cool, dude. I still don't know what that thing was though. Um, <laughs> what was it? I'll call it the Birch Man. He kind of looked like a tree, like barky looking skin. I don't know, that was pretty damn cool. We get a cinematic outro too. Awesome. I'm still sad I didn't get to escape though. Continue. Yeah, I guess there's gonna be a next one. I'm down with that. Let me uh, let me beef this giant tree monster some more. I don't like him. He made <laughs> he made this poor guy's day terrible. Well, damn, this was a fun little experience. Cool story, good graphics. But best of all, that is an awesome monster. That's actually just a cool monster. Straight up. Awesome. I always leave the games in the description. Hey, give this one a download. Give it a play. Maybe you can escape where I failed. Maybe there's other endings. Who knows? Go send them some love. This is really, really cool. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more. It really helps out with the Hobbiton YouTube algorithm. And of course, thanks for watching. As always, Bobby Wan here, and peace out. Move the master of the dark. White tea legend leaves his mama in the realm of horror. Seek prevails. No fear, not the story of hell. Yeah. It is in control Demons tremble as he takes his toll So it's a tough scare, he's that tall